What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone is having a great day. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys back another top 10 city tweak videos. So I do apologize for the audio, quality, all that stuff. I'm currently not at home right now and I won't be for the next two weeks. So just bear with me for the uh, quality and the audio over the next couple of days. So all the tweaks that I mentioned in the video will be down below in the description as well as the sources that you'll need to add to get any of the specific tweaks also added timestamps in the video so if you're not really interested in any tweak i'm currently talking about you guys can skip ahead uh, to the next tweak so before we start the video make sure you guys drop a like on the video hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video so the first tweak we have in today's video is called raspberry and this one is a very useful tweak that i believe everyone should install to their device and when you are playing a youtube video and when you actually back out to your home page or just like this it's going to stop the audio right away but with this tweak it allows you to enable that so i can play any sort of youtube video and then back out and i can go over onto like twitter for example and the audio will continue to play in the background and uh, for someone like me i love just listening to like a podcast or something off youtube and then i'll just go on twitter browse while i'm still listening it in the background so make sure you guys go check out this tweak called raspberry the next trigger for you guys is called Wave Away and what this one allows you to do is allows you get a bunch of customizations for like your home, home screen, your lock screen, your status bar, your icons, a bunch of stuff like that. You guys can see right here we're going to be able to like hide our um, page dots, hide our dog, even hide the dock background, change our dot color if we want to. We can hide our status bar, hide icon label, badges, dots, and we can even enter like custom carrier text which is awesome, battery text as well, time text. And um, I know there are a bunch of tweaks like this on Cydia, but um, it just basically puts all the tweaks together into one tweak. So just a very useful one called Wave Away. The next one for you guys is called Discord and it's spelled D-R-K then Chord. And what this one allows you to do is it allows you to change your app background color, chat background color, as well as the bottom bar color. So, um, I picked just a bunch of random bright colors. I wouldn't really recommend using these specific colors because if we go to my Discord right now, you're going to be able to see that it's just like really bright on your eyes. So this is probably not the best colors to set it, but um, it's just a pretty cool tweak for anyone who just uses Discord and just wants to be able to change the background color, chat color, all that stuff. So uh, make sure you guys go check this one out. The next tweak we have is called Respring Module. And this one's just a very simple tweak, but still find it very useful. And this one allows you to get a, a Respring button on your control center, just like this right here. Um, so if we go to our settings, so once you do install, you're gonna have to actually enable it in the control uh, center in the settings application. So settings, control center, and then you'll find a new option called uh, Respring module right here at the bottom. So you're gonna have to add it manually just like that. And there it is. And we had the button right there, which uh, you guys already saw at the beginning when I showed you guys this tweak. So I'm not gonna test it out because it's gonna screw up my audio recording. So um, this one's very useful, like I said, called Respring module. The next one for you guys is called Customize BW. And this one's gonna allow you to customize your battery widget on your home page right here and you guys can see if i go to my battery widget we can see that we have a triangle as our widgets for like our iphone and our apple watch right here there's a bunch of other customizations you guys can change right here so once you do install the tweak from Cydia, you can obviously enable it there go into the widget tab you guys can enable uh these custom colors right here so i have it toggled off right now so um, you're gonna be able to change even the wallpaper. So if you want the background color to be changed or the background to change to a specific wallpaper, you're gonna be able to do that with this tweak, which is awesome. And um, I would recommend only using the wallpaper feature if you make the widget a little bit bigger, not like this, cause mine's pretty small right now. So I'll probably set it to the large one. And then if we go into the battery, you're gonna be able to change the shape to the triangle one, which I have right now. You guys can change it to a bunch of other options like kite, diamond, linear, heart, as well as you guys can change like the uh, default colors right here for the charging, low power, low battery, and the battery fill colors. So uh, pretty awesome tweak called Customize BW. The next tweak we have is called Alt 5 Store, and this one is an extremely useful tweak for anyone who's using Alt Store currently to install, uncover, and if we head into the Alt Store application, 
you guys can see under the like news or even the browse page we have a new app here called uncover so basically it's going to let you guys know every single time there's an update so you don't have to actually manually go into your safari app go to uncover.eb and then download the app into uh, manually by yourself so um, you're going to be able to just open up the alt store and where it says free just install it from there so you guys can see right now it does say uncover 6.1.1 is available which i'm currently running on right now but if there's ever a new version in the future you're going to be able to um open up the uncover application not the uncover sorry the ultra application and then update it through here without actually having to download the ipa through safari so the next we have for you guys is called jelly lock reborn it's been updated on ios 14 it was actually tweaked back on ios 13 and what this one allows you to do is if we go to our uh, lock screen right now you guys see we have a little button right there if we kind of drag this you're gonna see a bunch of icons right here where you guys can set it to any shortcut apps you want so for example if i want i can select the app store or the calendar app sorry and it was going to bring me automatically from my lock screen so i'm sure you guys again right here so we just hold it and then pick a specific app and you guys can see right there so you guys can set it to whatever apps you want if we go to settings right here we're gonna have the option to go into the apps and you guys can select the number of apps you can select up to five applications right here so if we go to app shortcut one right now the app store so um you have that as well as the shortcuts right here so originally you have the flashlight and the camera on the right hand side but you're going to be able to switch that to either like unlock play slash pause or if you have the Sentinel tweak installed. So that's pretty awesome as well. And the last thing we have here is the appearance. So right now my dragger is uh, white and then my outer circle is blue. And you guys can also blur it as well and change like the grabber size. So pretty cool tweak to have called Jelly Lock Reborn. So the next we have is called Arctica. I think that's how you pronounce it. But basically this gives you a whole redesign for your lock screen music player. So when you're playing a song, um, as you guys can see right here, I'm playing a song from Spotify, go to my lock screen. We have this little redesign. So I have a little bit smaller, which I do prefer than the stock iOS uh, now playing widget right here. So there's a bunch of options you guys can select from these settings app. So right now I have the player as uh, the player style as a small, which I do like. You guys can even change like the background of uh, the player background, add the artwork color, reduce the transparency, and you guys can also change the artwork for large players. So you guys are going to be able to adjust that. So if you change anything here, make sure you guys uh, tap on respring. Next tweak for you guys is called Volify, and this one allows you to get the volume slider for your Spotify application. So I don't know why Spotify hasn't implemented this into Spotify, into their app, but basically we now have a slider right here, which I'm not gonna really move at all just because I don't wanna get any copyright strikes, but you guys can see we now have a slider, very simple tweak called Volify. And the last tweak I have in today's video is called AV Orientation Lock. So this one basically adds an orientation lock button in the video player, so you don't have to go to, for example, your control center to enable it or disable the orientation lock so um you'll get this obviously when you're in applications if you're streaming like a movie or a tv show or in like safari you're watching any type of video so you guys can see right there we now have the orientation lock in the video player so yeah guys that's basically it for this video hope you guys did enjoy this one if you guys did make sure you guys drop a like on the video hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video so you have any suggestions on what type of videos you guys want to see on the channel leave it down below in the comment section and i'll be sure to um hopefully upload the video for you guys so that's basically it and i'll see you guys in the next one